Okay, thanks, Danielle. We're talking about the temperatures this morning and how low they are in some spots. It's been uh, sort of stuck in the mid 40s outside our studio in East Providence, Michelle, all morning. Yeah, this is the coldest we've seen so far this season for most of the area, yeah. including Providence. And it's the coldest that I have our temperatures, at least through this work week. All right. Things cool back down over the weekend coming up. Our low temperatures this morning, check out some of these numbers. Still, no widespread frost out there. Hope Valley was down to 36 overnight. Coventry at 37. Smithfield, Rehoboth, Norton, all in the upper 30s. We've got a cool winds in the forecast for today. Highs lower 60s. Gusts though 20 to 30 miles per hour. It all comes with bright sunshine. We do turn much milder starting tonight and tomorrow. Highs will be well above average through the end of the work week and then it cools back down as I mentioned over the weekend. How about these bright blue skies in Newport right now and the same goes into Providence. Grab your sunglasses along with your coat this morning. Temperatures currently out the door starting that climb back into the 40s. So 44 in Providence, 45 in Newport, 47 for Hyannis. Smithfield's at 42. Boston beginning the morning at 47 degrees. As we move through the rest of this morning, we're going to be warming up with 10 a.m. temperatures around 49, lunchtime 55. This afternoon, highs low 60s. It takes until about 2 or 3 in the afternoon to get to the high for the day. But once we do, and I think you're going to find it to be just a crisp October day, which you'd expect for this time of year. Clear skies this evening as the sun sets 558 in the evening. So low pressure's Moving out of here as high pressure builds in, this will help to promote some of that milder air to move in. Let's take a look at the hour by hour forecast. That low yesterday still generating some extra clouds and a few showers in our area. Not going to be the case today. I do expect us to stay mostly sunny. Actually, got some snow falling on the top of Mount Washington right now. We've got those scattered showers that will continue up in northern New England, but not expecting them to reach into the Boston area or even here in Rhode Island or southeastern Massachusetts during the night. So 11 o'clock at night, partly to mostly clear skies expected. The clouds going to continue to be few and far between for your Wednesday afternoon with more sunshine but a milder sun. Our winds today, as we've been mentioning, they're sustained over 15 miles per hour in the afternoon, gusting 20 to 30. Still breezy for game four tonight up at Fenway. The temperatures, though, will be a shade warmer than yesterday. Won't cool as quickly. 59 at 8 o'clock in the evening. Mid 50s in Boston at midnight. Our own local nighttime low should stay above 50 in Providence, a pre dawn temperature of around 53 here. And our suburbs are going to be into the upper 40s. So a milder 8 o'clock temperature tomorrow, back around 60 degrees by 8 a.m. And those afternoon highs, 3 o'clock, should be into the upper 60s and low 70s. And we're just getting started with the mild air Thursday, Friday. Both above 70 degrees. I have us again nighttime lows running warmer as well into the middle 50s for morning lows on Thursday afternoon highs, lots of low 70s. Friday should be able to hold on to that mild air one more day, and then we do cool down for Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, keeping an eye on an offshore system could deliver a few showers into our area. It doesn't look like a big storm, but something that could definitely deliver some extra clouds and damp conditions. Cool and dry. For Sunday and Monday. And